Good morning, uh, Mrs. Yvonne Chan. This morning, we will be commencing the graduation day 2023 for all our graduating classes. It is a special day and we are very happy to have this special ceremony for our graduating seniors. And good morning, everyone. I am Ms. Ines Chan. Mrs. Chan and I will be your MCs for today's graduation day for the 2023 batch of graduates. There's an exciting program lined up for all of our graduating students. A very warm welcome to our principal, Mrs. Helen Tan, vice principals, Mr. Adam and Mr. Chiang, teachers and students. Thank you for joining us today. To the secondary four and five students, Today will be the day that you officially end your four to five years of secondary school education. We hope you can take today to reflect on all that you had done and achieved for the past few years. And also to show your appreciation to your schoolmates, teachers and parents who have supported you this far. Indeed, it seems not long ago that all of you were in secondary one, feeling lost and unfamiliar with the surroundings and having to make new friends again. In secondary one, you have put your roots to grow in Hillgrove, and now fast forward to this year, you are the seniors to other Hillgrovians. To remember the good old days, we have put together a montage to capture the cherished moments of your past few years in Hillgrove. So sit back and enjoy the photo montage. can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own through the dark through the door through where no one's been before but it feels like home they can say they can say it all sounds crazy Say they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design. Cause every night I am bent, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me.
Okay, I'm not sure what were the emotions all of you had as you watched this video. Okay, but for me, I think it's very surreal. Okay, because all of you, okay, were actually my first batch of students when I first entered Hillgrove. Okay, and now, yep, I think I've really seen how all of you have matured. Okay, and I think this video really brings back a lot of the memories uh, fond memories of your times with each other, starting from sec one all the way until now. Yeah. All of you really has grown so much. From one who had to be chaperoned to the classes, now you are one confident, motivated Hugovian, ready to take on the world. Are you? Are you? Right. Before you go on to different paths, we hope your graduation day will be a memorable one for you. Okay, now we would like to invite our school principal, Mrs. Tan, on stage to give her speech. Mrs. Tan, please. Is there a clicker? All right, a very good morning to all Hillgrovians and to all my colleagues. Um, indeed, as I look at the photographs, really time really, really flies. And I had the privilege of joining you in your journey when you were in SEC 3 for the SEC 4 student and SEC 4 for the SEC 5 student last year. And I must say that it has been a very interesting journey with you because I remember that when I first joined the school last year, the SEC 3s the SEC3 counsellors or the SEC3 PA crew, they were actually initiating me to this and that, and some of them are here. And so, like Miss Ines Tan, I also have a lot of thoughts and feelings, even when I look at the photographs. And I want to say that today is a special day for all of you. And I really must first thank the team all of them dressed in pink. They are in the committee that make all this happen. Even the red carpet, even the beautiful flowers and everything, especially for you. And interestingly, nobody told me and Mr. Adam that the theme for the team is pink. But today, I decided to wear pink because I think it's a happy day and I want to rejoice with you. And then later when I came, I saw Mr. Adam then I said, wow, we are in pink. And then after that, they said, hey, the whole team was in pink. So this is like telepathy. And I was just saying, Mr. Chang, right? His is a little bit of light brown, but it looks a bit like pink from far as well. So welcome to the pink club. Okay. Why? Uh, why, do we, why do I want to start with that? Because I think it is something that we want to celebrate with you and we want it to be a memorable day for you. Okay, so as... You are busy preparing for the national exam. There are a lot of good wishes that all the teachers and I have for you. And we wish you very well. And as I prepare or think through what I wanted to share, these photographs came back and I flashed this during one of the sea space. But I thought because all of you are seeing probably having assembly for the last few times. So I just want to say that this year alone, we have done a lot of things together. And a lot of you seniors were very involved in SYF this year as well. And then of course, you showcased during the speech day. And you also went through a lot. And just now, some of the photographs are also repeated here. And we are trying to make up for lost time in a way because you are the batch that first came to Hillgrove in 2020 when you are, if you are a SEC4 student. Everything was fine until when February strike. Everybody, everybody has to be on mask and a lot of things change. And in your SEC1, SEC2 year, and for the SEC5 will be your SEC2, SEC3 year. There are a lot of things that were cancelled because we couldn't do that. And it's just last year that things started to open up a little bit and then we could do more. And of course, this year, 
we did as much as we can so that we can enrich your secondary school life. So as we go through this, and as you now in this photographs can continue to mix with your friends more rather than being masked up with your within your class and then one meter apart and all, those were the days. But now we are able to do that and I'm so glad that today we can sit like this. We don't need to be one meter apart and you have a choice whether you want to wear your mask or not. And here we are. And so as we come to a close, I want to let you know that a lot of people are cheering you on. And I had the privilege to go to some of the SEC4 classes yesterday and I'm heartened to see that quite a lot of you say that your teachers are doing their best to help you and a lot of you and your classmates are also doing your best in this last lap. So I just hope that all of us will continue this journey to the very end when you finish your national exam and you can safely say that I have done my best and I try my best to take care of myself and I will also look out for my classmates. If you can do that, I think this will be an excellent example where we can say, we have started right, we have started well, and we have also ended well and ended right. So in this critical few weeks, may I encourage all of you to continue to take care of your own self and to look out for your friends. How do you look out? If you think that there's something that you can do for them, giving them a word of encouragement, cheering them on, be more positive and not negative because sometimes it just takes something, one sentence that you said, it can spoil a person's day. But it can also be one sentence that you said, you can uplift the person for the day and for the weeks. So as we go through this last lap, I want to encourage you to continue to be courageous and strong. Yes, sometimes the times will be tough, but I want you to know that it will come to pass. Tough moments will pass. Hang in there. And the good thing is sometimes, today may be my tough day, but today is not your tough day. So you cheer me on. But tomorrow, I may have recovered. But tomorrow may be your tough day. And then, it's my chance and my time to encourage you. Okay, so as we go through this last lap, I want to encourage all of us to stay at it. Don't give up. And persevere. So before we end, I want to revisit something. So you, for those of you who are very observant, you see that I came to the stage with a bag. This is called the lovely Hillgrove bag, okay? I want to let you know, when I joined the school last year, the, the, my former, the, the former principal were very kind. She gave me a gift and she said, welcome to Hillgrove. Let me introduce you to Grover, okay? So after that, then, then he said, okay, this is Grover. And, oops, this is Hilda. And then Hilda has a very nice skirt, okay? All right, so um, for you to have a close-up, okay, give me a minute, huh? Oops. Ah, oops, oops, okay. Oh, how come I cannot go back? Ah, okay, okay. Yep. So you can't see it uh, very well, so I tried to magnify for you. So she passed me these two lovely bears and she said, uh, welcome to Hill Grove. This is Hilda and this is Grover. And then she distinguished for me, Hilda has a skirt, whereas Grover has uh, very cute shorts. All right. And then she said, this is our special bear from Hill Grove. Then, of course, for those of you who are very fast, you will know that Hilda, Grover becomes Hill Grovian. Okay. And so today, as the team was preparing for this special day, we are thinking, 
it may not be very feasible for us to do the bear with the skirt and then bear with the with the shorts. Then we give to each of you individually. And then it would be like a bit half-half, you know? If you have the girl, then you don't have the boy. Then it doesn't seem complete. If you have Hilda, you don't have Grover, it doesn't seem complete. If you have Grover, you don't have Hilda, it doesn't seem complete. But we also don't want to give you all both. So, in the end, we thought, hey, this is version 2. Because it's COVID. And COVID means what? You all wear a lot of your PE t-shirt to school, right? And then, we will translate all that into your PE shorts. So, this is a Hugh Grovian. And it is specially presented to you. Okay, I hope you like it. Okay. Okay, so as you all own this special Hill Grovian, I hope that you will put at a place where it will remind you of the good times, the good things, and all the things that we have been trying to teach you in your four to five years. And I want to end by once again reminding everyone. Oh, uh -huh. about our school song. Because you started coming to this school, the first thing you learn is the school song. And later on, as we end this graduation ceremony, we will end with the school song. And I've shared before, and I'll share again, that our school song has a lot of depth, a lot of meaning. Hello? Stop swinging your bag. Thank you. I hope that with this school song, only Hill Grovians can sing the school song. If you are not a Hill Grovian, the song doesn't belong to you. So it is a privilege. So I want you to take a look at the green words. With tender care, our seeds are sown to withstand the test of time and through loving nurture, by all your teachers and your friends. We hope that you will shine with beauty. That's our wish for you. And together, we strive for greater heights. O-level, N-level is just one of the endeavours, but there'll be more. And if you have commitment in everything that you do, you will try it. And the Hillgrove spirit continue to soar. Once a Hillgrovian, always a Hillgrovian. And I hope that you will continue to bring honour to the school, of course to your family and to yourself. And you will be a beacon of light wherever you are. You can say, I was from Hillgrove. Oh, by the way, you know, I'm so privileged during uh, some of the competition for the STEM, like the drones competition and all that. When we sent our team, I went there to cheer them on. And then one of the organizers told me, oh, this uh, person from this company who is overseeing this competition, he's from Hillgrove. And he came. And he was such a well-brought-up gentleman. And he said, uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Tan. Yeah, I, was, I graduated from Hillgrove for oh, what year? Yeah, and now I'm working for this company. And I am really beaming with pride. Because that is a Hillgrovian. That person has gone through the doors and they have learned much. And he said his interest in drones and all that started in Hillgrove. And then after graduation, when he went on to Poly, he continued to uh, work on it. And then he got some attachment from the company and here he is. So our school is 22 years old. It is still relatively young. In years to come, I'm very confident I will find very distinguished people coming back as guests of honour who were Hillgrovian and then they can continue to inspire our young Hillgrovians. So, that's my hope for you, okay? So, you will be a beacon of light and you will serve and the song says you will have compassion and kindness. Your friendships will blossom and in hopefully 10 years' time, you can still say, oh, he's my friend from Hillgrove. And we have been friends since secondary school. And the bonds will endure. 
You will see each other growing up and maturing. You will be upright and sturdy. And you will support each other in your quest. In your own ways, you blossom. And this is the chorus again. Okay? So with that, this is one of my last few slides. I want to encourage all of us to see your life in a wider perspective. You know, sometimes you think, oh, you know, O-level, N-level, so much to do, and it's such a drudgery and all that, all the exams and all that. I hope you know that generally, if you are average Singaporean and if God is good to you, you live a long-lasting life, most of us live until 80. And what happens? Half of it is 40 years. Half of 40 is 20 years. And a few years ago, you took a very important exam, PSLE. That was about 12 years old. And now, fast forward, about 16, 17, you are taking your N-level, O-level. Maybe in one, two, three years' time, you will take your exam in ITE, Polytechnic, and JC. And then you probably take your university two years' time. But whatever it is, it is still only the first 20 years of your life. So, in order for us to continue to grow and thrive and enjoy life ahead, having a positive mindset is very important. All right? Treat every endeavor as a way that you can continue to develop yourself. So, you don't see it as a drudgery, like, oh, another exam, another exam. And with that, you will continue to experience, grow, and thrive, and mature until you reach 80. Okay? So with that, oops, enjoy the learning and growing process. Think about what you can contribute, not only about what you can achieve. So this is my challenge to you. Let us not merely define our success based on what we can achieve for yourself. Rather, my challenge to you, in the next few decades of your life, think about what you can contribute to your families, to your homes. You're going to set up your families in years to come, even your, your current family, your community, your society, and of course, to humanity. Okay? So with that, remember you are not alone and all the best. And this is my last quote for you. I ended, I shared this at the beginning of the year and I'll end with the same quote. All right. So thank you very much for your attention and all the best. Hill Grovians. We would like to invite Mrs. Tan to remain on stage for the next segment. We will now be giving out a series of awards to our deserving graduates. Firstly, we would like to recognize the students who will be receiving MOE EduSafe Character Award, in short, ECA. These students will receive their $500 awards at a community award ceremony next year. ECA recognizes students who have demonstrated exemplary character and outstanding personal qualities through their behavior and actions and are role models to inspire others. This award is only given up to 2% of Singaporean students in each school at the end of the year. Our ECA awardees will come up on stage to take a group photograph with the principal. They are from Class 4-1, Lee Ray Tong Jennifer. From Class 4-1, Noor Aliyah Natasha Binti Iskandar. From Class 4-1, Naraya Tai Yongle. Class 4-2, Chu Kei Lin. 
plus four to Chloe Ong Wei Qi. Plus four to Noel Francesca Ayana Alcantara. Plus four three No Kaisara Ania Binti Mohammed Nawawi. And from class four three, Tan Jun Sheng Samuel. Next, we have from class four four, Chi Tian Hui. Class four four, Yu Hong Xian. Class four five, Crystal Tio Hui Yu. Class four five, Tio Qi Jun. Class four six, Morel Cheng Ying Sing. Class four six, Umaira Adriana Binte Muhammad Nasser. Class four seven, Song Hui Yi Hui Isabel. Class four seven, Natalie Go Yu Jie. Class four eight, Ethan Lim Shi An. Class 4-8, Jareem Chan. Class 4-8, Lian Ne Shafika Binte Kabez. Last, Class 5-1, Lindsay Ashley Kwa Xuan Lin. Congratulations to all recipients of the MOE EduSafe Character Award. Congratulations. Next. Thank you, Mrs. Tan. Next, we will present the school based awards. The Principal's Academic Award recognizes Hugh Grovians with good academic achievements in the year 2023. The awardees will receive a Hugh Grove Medal and a certificate. The Principal's Academic Award Bronze recognizes students who have excelled academically for two semesters. The following recipients of the Principal's Academic Award Bronze are from Class 41, the senior David Tabian, Tan Tuo Gyap, From class 44, Anish, son of Jagdish Prasad. Eng Ying Zi. Do you, Xavier? <laughs> Muhammad Hazik bin Sufyan. From class four six, Ivan Carlos Salenta Cortes. Jensen Ong Jung Sing. Kiran Kishore.
Miguel Ong Jun Si. Nicholas Yak Yong Yang. From class four seven, Braden Wong Ting Wei. Chua Ying Fei. Phoebe Ng K Yen. Ryan Tan Song Hong. Xia Sing Yu Jovin. Tan Wei Ling. Tio Hin Lui Sarah. Wilfred Wong Ray Ping. Wilfred will not be here, will not be joining us today. And finally, from class 4 8, Kaden Chai Ming Yang. Cham Hong Yi. Fung Jun Hung Manfred. Kitson Niu. Lo Kai Min. And finally, Te Yu Hung. Next, the principal's academic award, Silver, recognizes students who have excelled academically for four semesters. The following recipients of the principal's academic award, Silver, are from class 4-1, Ding Min Hui. Kenneth Ko Kai Chuan. Wan Xue Min Jermaine, however, Jermaine will not be able to join us today. From class 4 2, Ella Veta Pagod. From class 4 4, Ng Yen Shiat Gareth.
Nivedita Jaya Chandra. Yu Hong Xian. From class four five, August that. No Kyra Honey's Binti Shake Faisal. From class four six, we have Basani Dwell Abhishek ready. Chi Yunzi Chen Kai Kawasaki Chong Zi Tian Sharain Quack Sing Hui Vivas Marcus Andrea Daniel From class four seven, we have Farah Misha Muhammad Fami. Rachel Hing Jie En. Last but not least, from class four eight, we have Fang Zhou Er. Moving on, the Principal's Academic Award Gold recognizes students who have excelled academically for six semesters. The following recipients of the Principal's Academic Award Gold are from Class 41, No Alia Natasha Binte Iskanda. From class four two, Chloe Ong Wei Ti. From class four six, Shivan Ki Shao Ling. Peck Cheng Yong. Thomas Sun Umaira Adriana Binte Muhammad Nasser.
From class 4-7, we have Natalie Go Yujie. Four eight, Damita Kalyana. Ethan Lin Shi An. Vanessa Bu. From class 5 1, we have Eng Jingming. Congratulations to all recipients of the Principal's Academic Awards. Next, we will present the One Family Excellence in Flight and Aerospace, Arts, Sustainable Environment Award. This award recognizes students who are passionate and actively involved in flight and aerospace, arts, or sustainable environment. The following recipients of the One Family Excellence in Flight and Aerospace are from Class 4-4, Anish son of Jagdish Prasad. From class 4-4, four, four, are you Sabrina Binti Salib? From class 4-5, Tang Tian Rong. The recipients of the One Family Excellence in Arts are from Class 4-5, Zoe Yen. From Class 4-6, Tan Shi En Shayin. From class 4-4, four, four, Rashini Velusami. Finally, the recipients of the One Family Excellence in Sustainable Environment are from class 4-6, Tan Shi En Shayin. And finally, from class 4 6, Kim Jun Xiang Gwyneth. Congratulations to all recipients of the One Family Excellence in Flight and Aerospace Arts Sustainable Environment Awards. Let's give a warm round of applause to all recipients. Thank you, Ms. Tan, for giving out the awards. As seniors graduating this year, I'm sure all of you are very grateful and thankful for the care, guidance, safe school environment and abundant opportunities in Hillgrove from our school principal, Mrs. Tan, vice principals, Mr. Adam and Mr. Chiang. Indeed, the graduating cohort would like to show their appreciation to Hillgrove Secondary School leaders. Let's hear what they have to say. Thank you, Mrs. Tan and Mr. Adam for, for motivating the set force to do their best in their whole levels and wherever they have. Thank you, Mrs. Tan, for being such a good role model for all of us. Thank, Thank you. you.
Thank you, Mr. Adam, for your enthusiastic attitude towards the school, and thank you for all of your hard work. Thank Chang for your service for my employers at Timbu Primary School. Thank you, Mr. Chang, for your sense of security and ensuring that the school is safe. Thank you. Mr. Chang, for your service. Mr. Adam, your smile brightens our days at Good Group. Thank you, Mr. Stan, for giving heartfelt talks in the morning. Thank you, Mr. Stan, for taking care of the students' well-being. Mr. Adam, thank you for being our VP. Uh, you're the best. Every time I see you in morning assembly, you'll be very kind to me. I hope you remember me. I'm Chen Rong. Good morning, Mr. Adam. Thank you, Mr. Stan, for being so devoted to our school. Thank you, Mr. Stan, for motivating us. Thank you for making Europe safe for us. Thank you, Class of 2023, for your words of heartfelt appreciation. We shall now invite our cohort of 2023 to present a token of thank you to our school principal, Vice Principals, for the guidance to make Hillgrove a wonderful school for our graduating students. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Tan, Mr. Adam, and Mr. Chow for helping to mold our students to be outstanding Hillgrovians. We would now like to invite the student representative from the 2023 graduating cohort to make her graduation speech. Let us warmly welcome our student representative, Morel, from class 46 to deliver her speech. Good morning, Mrs. Tan, Mr. Adam, Mr. Chang, teachers, and my fellow Hugovians. I'm Morel from 46, and I'm honored to be given the chance to represent my cohort. Being the COVID batch, we not only had to make the transition to secondary school, but had to quickly adapt to having school online. Making friends was not easy, and we had to forego many activities, such as the secondary one camp, as well as learning journeys. Despite all of this, many of us made many meaningful friendships and appreciate our teachers in Hillgrove, ensuring that we were all coping well. Even during the pandemic, Hillgrove students were given opportunities to participate in virtual internationalization programs with our partner schools in South Korea and Japan. We got a chance to learn about the country's education system, culture, food, and make lifelong friendships with our buddies. Hillgrove has taught us so much and has given all of us ample opportunities to grow as individuals with all the advice, care, and coaching from our teachers. We will all surely agree that it is indeed our second home. The fine dining experience during the cohort program gave us an insight on food presentation, table etiquette, and table setting. It was a great change to have fine dining food. The Hillgrove Learning Festival was another meaningful experience to muster up the courage to share what we are passionate about with others. With the encouragement of my friends and teachers, it was indeed an enjoyable experience teaching our schoolmates about the history of music. Many of us were amazed by the hidden talents that all our schoolmates had. Another cherished memory would have to be class bonding day when we went to Jurong Lake and Botanic Gardens. The chance to be outdoors with our classmates was a refreshing change from the usual routine of having lessons in school. The opportunity to play games while eating together in our classes really helped to strengthen our bonds. Learning beyond class was also an enriching experience for all of us. The Financial Literacy Workshop allowed us to learn more about budgeting, savings, and even how to achieve our financial goals. The inter-class games, together with the opportunity to do archery, were a good chance for all of us to learn other than academic subjects. Lastly, during the Outwards Bound Camp, 
Many of us would surely recall how over the course of two days, all of us persevered through the different challenges, such as having to walk for long distances or even eating the food rations. Throughout the camp, we continuously cheered one another on and pushed through the difficulties together. Many important life skills were gained and new friendships were forged during the camp. Hillgrove has truly allowed all of us to make so many wonderful memories. All good things must come to an end. Hillgrove has truly made such a huge impact on our lives and we are forever indebted to the school for giving us the best four to five years of our lives. Again, we as Cohort 2023 thank the principal, vice principals and teachers. Thank you. Thank you, Morel, for your wonderful sharing. Ms. Ines, shall we be ready for something interesting coming up? The Hillgrove staff are proud of the class of 2023, and they have prepared a special video for all of you. All right, we will now sit back and enjoy the video. Dear graduating Hillgrovians, imagine if this paper is you, and these books that I have here are your challenges. So if I were to roll out this paper, all right, so it becomes like this, and make it standing like you are standing, and I keep adding on the challenges, all right? How often you might just falter, and some of you might never get up again. So today, I want to share with you the traits of successful people and leaders through lesson learned from the COVID pandemic. There were many studies about why some leaders are successful in handling COVID in their countries while others still. In all the different countries and different contexts, three traits emerge as a significant predictor of success. The traits are, firstly, is resilience. Sorry, the first is grit, G-R-I-T. Second one is resilient. It's the second trait. The third trait is social responsibility, right? So basically, greed is about putting in sustained effort toward a goal, even when you struggle, falter or fail. Resilience is about the ability to bounce back and bounce forward after you have struggled, falter or fail. While social responsibility is about fulfilling your civic duty and care and taking actions that benefit others. So, by building grit and resilience inside you, right, remember this is you, all right? No matter what the challenges that I gave you, all right, get okay, the bigger one, big challenges. No matter what, you can withstand almost anything that come onto your way. I hope that you have learned something from the two years of the pandemic. I just want you to remember that you are a special cohort. Special because you have gone through two years of the global pandemic. I wish you all the very best, not only for your exams, but for your life. And may you develop great resilience and great sense of social responsibility, not only for yourself, but for others by contributing back to your family, community and society. All the best and thank you. Dear Sec 4 and 5 Hillgrovians, hope that the school has provided you with a safe and conducive learning environment for the past four to five years. On this graduation day, I would like to wish all of you the very best for the upcoming examinations. United, we saw. Unleash your potential. Be your best. Live your dreams. And every new day is a fresh start to succeed. We, we want, want to see, see you there. there. You are the best. Fighting. Best wishes. 
Happy. Happy graduation. Bye. Bye. Happy graduation day. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. I really love this speech. Maybe, Mr. Adam, there's something that you did not mention. You have to read those four books in order for that to withstand the stress, right? <laughs> right. Thank you. We. Okay. Let's get re okay. Let's get ready for an exciting part from our graduating students for them to show out their gratitude to their form teachers and co-form teachers. We will now be inviting all form and co-form teachers on stage by class. The chair and vice chairperson of each class will come up on stage to present their token of appreciation to their beloved form and co-form teachers. Let's welcome the form and co-form teachers of class 4-1 on stage. First, Madam Grace Ang and Mr. Derek Chia. Louder applause, please. <laughs> Thank you for one. Thank you for one. Next, we shall invite the form and co form teachers of class four two on stage. Miss Siti Nora Shikin and Miss Sophia Chi, please. My heart will end me, and I am still and wait here in the silence till you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up. <laughs> you raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulder. Raise me up. Thank you, class for two. Now, can we have the form teacher of our four three on stage? Madam Chong Pei Shi, please. I love her session. So sweet. Thank you, Madam Chong, at class four, three. And now let's welcome the form and co-form teachers of class four, four on stage, Mrs. Valerie Low and Mr. Jared Gan, please. Now, let's have the form teacher and co form teacher of class 4 5 on stage, Miss Ao Yong YK and Miss Ao Yong Yukit. Unfortunately, Madam Jade Hu is unable to join us today.
Come on, 4-5, can I have a louder applause? Thank you, 4-5. Next, we shall invite the form and co-form teachers of 4-6 on stage. Mrs. Esther Shen and Mr. Siva, please. Thank you for six. Let's welcome form teacher and co-form teachers the four seven on stage, Mr. Sean Tan and Miss Azila. Did I hear A1? 4 7, I heard you, uh, A1. Uh. Thank you, 4 7. Can we now have class 4 8's form and co form teachers on stage? Mrs. Lee Shrini and Miss Lin Xu. How come they got extra flowers? Eh? Let's take a picture. Thank you for eight. Last but not least, let's welcome the form teacher and co form teachers of five one Mr. Fitri and Ms. Sunati. That's so sweet. Yeah, I think this must be a very moving moment for all the form teachers and co-form teachers. Thank you to all the classes for your efforts in preparing wonderful gifts for your form and co-form teachers. Behind all these, let's not forget to show our appreciation to our year head and discipline level coordinator too. Let's put our hands together to welcome Madam Tay and Mr. Jared Gunn.
Can I have Madam T and Mr. Jared on stage, please? Thank you, Madam T. Thank you, Mr. Jared. <laughs> okay, now we would like to invite the next student representative from the graduating cohort of 2023 to present his graduation speech. Let us welcome Raba from 41 on stage to deliver his speech. Good morning, Mrs. Tan, Mr. Adam, Mr. Chang, teachers, and fellow Hugovians. I am Prabhav from Class 4-1. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate my fellow graduates for reaching the end of their chapter at Hillgrove. Let me take everyone back to 2020, our first year in Hillgrove. Many of us were excited about the start of our secondary school life journey. Unfortunately, that was also when the COVID pandemic started. The first year of learning was partially online due to the circuit breaker, and for many of us, the lessons away from school were definitely not easy for us. But regular checks by our teachers virtually to ensure that we are all coping well at that time made a huge difference. The teachers were also pillars of support which helped all of us along the way. All the teachers' unique styles of teaching partnered with their ability to impact and inspire us to do better will always be cherished by my fellow graduates and myself. One memorable event was when all of us attended the motivational camp organized for all secondary four and five students. The Adam Koo workshop was extremely useful in giving us tips on useful study skills and effective time management skills. All these skills would definitely stand us in good stead even when we go on to higher education. One of the highlights of the event was where everyone sat together in a circle and shared with one another about our fears and ambitions for the future. Through the sharing sessions, all of us realized that we had similar fears about our future and encouraged one another to overcome them together. It was truly heartening to see the graduating cohort become much closer together after the event. Another fond memory was the hamper wrapping during Chinese New Year. Every class chipped in to contribute necessities for the beneficiaries. With all our efforts, we were able to make a meaningful contribution to the community. In the process of working towards a common goal, all of us bonded even better as a class and even learned new things about one another in the process. During our years at Hillgrove, Careers Day was valuable to help us explore our interests in our desired field and learn from the professionals. The sharing sessions were useful in helping us to find out more about particular occupations we were keen in. And how could I forget? The peer support was received from our classmates and schoolmates was invaluable. So thank you. They are the ones who pushed us to our limits to do better, whether it was in academics or sports, by encouraging one another to achieve the highest standards possible and provided a listener. I truly thank you. Overall, Hugo has provided us with ample opportunities to grow into fine young men and women that we are today. In Hugo, we discovered more about ourselves and to be the best versions of ourselves. On behalf of the graduating cohort, I would like to thank Principal 
vice principals and teachers for making Hillgrove such a conducive environment. I would like to end with a quote. Every story has an end, but in life, every ending is a new beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhav. Now, coming up next is the long-awaited item. This is a special video made with love. As a graduating gift from your form teacher and co-form teachers to you, the love, care, help, guidance, and support are immeasurable. They will all miss you very much. So here is to all graduating students. Sit back and enjoy. Yep. Sunday, take a break and get ready for Monday, but don't forget to leave for me. And with that, all the best graduates, we show you all the best for your O-levels, and not just that, but for the rest of your life after your graduation. Dear graduates, today marks another very important milestone in your education journey, and certainly a lot of thoughts and emotions are racing through your mind. And I hope that you are looking forward to the next leg of your own unique journey. Keep the momentum strong and give the upcoming exam your best shot. Um, as the famous quote goes, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. And in that sense, I wish you the best of luck. Congrats on your graduation. All the best in everything that you do. Fighting! Be bold. Be courageous. Do your best. Happy graduation! Wishing all graduates success in your next phase of life. And may all your wishes come true. Hi, Sec Force! Congratulations on going on to the next phase of your life. I pray that you know, in whatever that you do, you find joy and happiness, and that you also bring happiness to those around you, because it did not bring much joy to me. And I pray that also that you know, um, you will bring your skills, you will be useful citizens of the future, and you will be empathetic individuals. Lugar con el tacto de una flor y la música del mar. Cuánto nada cuesta tanto como tener el cielo entre mis manos y no. Happy graduation. Class of 2023.
hope you have enjoyed the video clip put together by your form and co-form teachers and also a lot of your subject teachers. Our 2023 graduating cohort has also put together a photo montage to present to their teachers who have taught them for the past years. Let us sit back and enjoy the montage put together by our students. Chloe, I'm Nikki. On behalf of this Hill Grove's 2023 cohort, we would like to dedicate this song, You Are the Reason, to our principal, vice principals, and our precious teachers. You all are the reason that we're able to graduate today as secondary school graduates. <laughs> my heart beating cause you are the reason I'm losing my sleep please come back now and there goes my mind racing and you are the reason that I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now
Thank you so much. How many of you have Thank your you. heartstrings tugged? Okay, the students backstage are already tearing up. Those of you all who have not teared up, do it ASAP. Okay, so thank you very much for this lovely preparation. For so long, Hillgrove has been your home away from home. And I'm very sure that all of you will miss your school, all the teachers here. But we are very proud to be part of the chapter of your lives. And now we have almost come to the end of the program. To mark this special occasion, shall we all sing the school song together for one last time? Yes. We would like to invite everyone to rise to sing the school song. We shall now invite Jareem, our Student Council President of 2023 on stage once again to lead us in today's school song. Jareem, please. Uh, Scholar Sodia, the school song.
Thank you. Thank you, Jareen and everyone. You may now be seated. All of those singing in high voices, you will stay back to join choir CCA. Okay, and so we've come to the last segment of today's program. Mrs. Chan, what do you think the graduation pin symbolizes? Oh, okay. The graduation pin is our school emblem. It represents a visual reminder to all Hillgrovians about the journey they have taken with the school for the past four to five years. Hillgrovians, we hope you will be like the trees grown in a hill, deeply rooted and always standing tall. We hope you will remember your days in Hillgrove fondly. Once a Hillgrovian, always a... Right. Well, Shan. We will now take this opportunity to thank the school leaders, teachers and all staff in Hillgrove in making this morning possible. Last but not least, congratulations, Hillgrovians. Finally, all the best for your upcoming examinations. Remember, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. You can do it. We really believe in all of you. On the behalf of the organizing committee, we hope that you have a great time with us. Thank you.